How is Ellen Nordegren, the woman who suffered great shock from Tiger Woods' affair now? The professional golfer's infamous divorce that shocked America in 2010 has never escaped the public eye over the past 12 years. Today, they are curious about the life of Tiger's poor ex-wife. Here, we will provide you with notable facts about Ellen Nordegren. You will definitely not be disappointed. Ellen Nordegren, well known as the former wife of professional golfer Tiger Woods, has an identical twin sister named Josephine. In a 2010 interview with People magazine, Ellen shared insights into her unique upbringing and the close bond she shares with her sister. Their parents took great care not to conflate their identities and encourage their independence. One of the distinctive aspects of their childhood was that their parents rarely dressed them in identical clothes. However, when they did, they had a clever solution to avoid any confusion. Elin would always wear red, while her sister, Josephine, would wear blue. This color coding system ensured that everyone could easily distinguish between the two sisters, with red representing Elin and blue representing Josephine. Their parents went even further by cutting their hair differently and placing Aileen and Josephine in separate classes at school. These measures were taken to foster their individuality and prevent any mix ups or identity confusion. Aileen expressed her gratitude for her parents' approach, emphasizing that she values the independence and individuality they encouraged in her and her sister. Despite their differences, Aileen and Josephine developed an incredibly close and enduring friendship that has lasted since the day they were born. In her eyes, her sister is not just a best friend, but a cherished, lifelong companion. This upbringing and unique approach to parenting played a crucial role in shaping the strong bond Ellen shares with her twin sister, Josephine. Ellen Nordegren's childhood was marked by her parents' divorce when she was just seven years old. What makes her story remarkable is the way her parents managed their split, which significantly influenced her approach to post-divorce relationships, including her amicable relationship with her ex-husband, Tiger Woods. Despite her parents' divorce, Elian emphasized that they maintained an exemplary co-parenting arrangement. She spent an equal amount of time with both of them as she was growing up. This balanced and supportive environment during her formative years left a profound impact on her perspective on co-parenting after her own divorce from Woods. Elin highlighted that this strong foundation, even after her parents' separation, laid the groundwork for her to have an amicable relationship with Woods following their divorce. She recognized that the core values instilled in her by her parents during her upbringing played a vital role in shaping her post-divorce attitude. Elin's mother, in particular, served as a role model, demonstrating that it is possible to be an independent mother while pursuing a career. Her mother's ability to balance motherhood with her professional aspirations left a lasting impression on Elin. Moreover, Elin's father's move to Germany in 1997 presented a unique opportunity for Elin and her sister to experience life and education in a different country. They spent a year studying German and English and completed the 11th grade at John F. Kennedy School in Berlin. This experience broadened their horizons and contributed to their personal growth. Ellen further explained that, in retrospect, her parents' decision to split was for the best, as it ultimately benefited their children. She recognized the importance of trust in a relationship. And when trust is lacking between parents, she believed it is better for the children that the parents go their separate ways. She expressed a strong desire to demonstrate to her own children the lessons she learned from her parents. That being alone and happy is preferable to being in a relationship where trust is absent. Elaine Nordegren's passion for travel was ignited during her childhood, leaving her with cherished memories of European road trips that continue to hold a special place in her heart. Her family's approach to travel was a key factor in shaping her deep appreciation for exploring the world. Elin recalled that, before her parents' divorce in 1987, her family embarked on adventures together. This family dynamic included her older brother Axel, herself, and her sister. 
The three siblings were very close in age, making them seem like triplets while growing up. Their parents were devoted to providing enriching travel experiences, and they had a habit of devoting every available penny to their travel adventures. The family's mode of transportation for these escapades was a modest Fiat Panda, which they would pack with excitement as they ventured across Europe. Eileen reminisced about these journeys that took them all over the continent. They made it a point to explore Europe as frequently as possible, creating enduring memories of their time on the road. Aileen's love for travel didn't stop with her childhood experiences. As an adult and a mother, she has made an effort to pass on the same sense of wanderlust to her own children. She firmly believes that travel is an invaluable way to teach her kids about the world and broaden their horizons. Having visited every country in Europe multiple times, Elin Nordegren's experiences and family adventures have played a significant role in shaping her perspective on the importance of travel in enriching one's understanding of the world. Her parents' dedication to exploring new places, even on a tight budget, instilled in her a profound love for travel and a desire to share similar experiences with her own children. Ellen Nordegren's career path took some unexpected turns as she ventured into different fields before ultimately finding herself in the public eye. In her teenage years, she dabbled in swimsuit modeling, but she never envisioned it as her long-term career. She reflected on her brief modeling stint, acknowledging that she wasn't particularly successful in the industry. She was humble about her modeling experiences, stating that a few photo shoots during her teenage years didn't warrant labeling her as a professional model. Modeling was never her primary ambition, but she acknowledged the flattering aspect of being called a model. In her early 20s, Elin Nordegren pursued a different profession as a nanny. Her childcare role even led her to spend a year working as a nanny for the children of Swedish golfer Jesper Parnevik. Initially, she had planned to continue her studies in Spanish in Barcelona. However, her life took an unexpected turn when she crossed paths with the Parnevik family and decided to travel to the United States with them. Eileen's intention had been to return to Sweden after a year and commence her studies in psychology. While the terms swimsuit model and nanny may not accurately describe her career at the time of the 2010 interview, she looked back fondly on these diverse experiences. She recognized that both roles had provided her with valuable life experiences and shaped her in unique ways. Interestingly, it was Jesper Parnovic who played a pivotal role in introducing Ellen Nordegren to her future husband, Tiger Woods. However, it's worth noting that Tiger Woods later expressed regret over having facilitated the connection between the two. This twist of fate in her career and personal life led to Elin's well-known relationship with the golfing legend and her subsequent journey into the public eye. Elin Nordegren's initial interactions with Tiger Woods were quite unexpected and started with her having no intention of dating him. This twist in their relationship was an interesting turn of events, as she had a boyfriend back in Sweden when Woods entered her life. Tiger Woods was apparently quite persistent in pursuing Elin, which led her to agree to a single date with him. Her motivation for this date, as revealed by People reporter Steve Helling in the biography Tiger, The Real Story, was not based on genuine romantic interest, but rather to deter Woods from pursuing her further. However, during their second date, Ellen began to experience a change of heart. Despite Woods not fitting her typical dating preferences, she found herself genuinely liking him. The celebrity status that often accompanied Woods didn't deter her. Instead, she discovered that she was spending time with a nice, down-to-earth person. Steve Helling, in his biography, captures this change of sentiment, noting that, for the first time, Elin didn't feel like she was with a celebrity. Instead, she felt that she was out with a genuinely good and normal guy. This unexpected connection and the rapid development of their feelings for each other marked the beginning of their relationship, and Alan was pleasantly surprised to find herself falling for Tiger Woods quickly.
Tiger Woods and Alan Nordegren's love story culminated in a beautiful wedding in Barbados in October 2004, after dating for nearly three years. Their choice of Barbados as the wedding destination was based on the stunning tropical beaches it offered and the privacy it afforded the couple. Security guards played a significant role in maintaining the privacy of the wedding event, ensuring that onlookers were kept at bay. The wedding guest list comprised approximately 200 attendees, including family, close friends, and A-list sports stars, such as Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley. One interesting detail about the wedding was Tiger Woods' demeanor on the big day. According to a source cited in the report, Woods remained remarkably composed and relaxed, displaying no outward signs of nervousness or pre-wedding jitters. The source remarked that he didn't behave as if he were about to get married, maintaining a calm and collected demeanor as if it were just another ordinary day for him. This glimpse into Woods' attitude on his wedding day offers a unique perspective on the athlete's demeanor during this momentous occasion in his life. The wedding in Barbados marked the official union of Tiger Woods and Elin Nordegren and was attended by a mix of high-profile guests and loved ones making it a memorable and private celebration. Elin Nordegren and Tiger Woods expanded their family after their marriage. Their journey into parenthood began with the birth of their first child, a daughter named Sam Alexis Woods, on June 18, 2007. The choice of her name held a special significance, as it was a tribute to a nickname that Woods's father had affectionately given him during his own upbringing. Two years later, in February 2009, the couple celebrated the arrival of their second child, a son named Charlie Axel Woods. According to the golf pro, they selected the name Charlie because it simply felt right, fitting their child perfectly. His middle name, Axel, was chosen as a way to honor Aylin Nordegren's brother. The Woods children were raised in an environment deeply connected to golf, spending a significant amount of time on the golf course from a young age. They were often seen accompanying their mother, Elin, as they cheered their father on during his tournaments. Charlie, in particular, displayed a keen interest in golf and followed in his father's footsteps, becoming a competitive golfer himself. In December 2022, he even had the opportunity to play alongside Tiger Woods at the PNC Championship, showcasing his growing talent and the special bond shared between father and son on the golf course. However, Elin Nordegren's life took a distressing turn in November 2009 when reports surfaced alleging that her husband, Tiger Woods, had been unfaithful with as many as a dozen other women. The scandal surrounding Woods' alleged affairs created a storm of media attention and public scrutiny. Nordegren, however, chose not to delve into the sordid details of her husband's reported infidelity maintaining a degree of privacy and dignity in the face of the intense scrutiny. In an interview with People, she candidly expressed the emotional turmoil she experienced during that difficult period. She described feeling as though she had been through hell, grappling with the sudden revelation of a life that may have been built on a lie. The shock and disbelief she felt were overwhelming, and she questioned how she could have been so unaware of her husband's actions. The word betrayal felt insufficient to capture the depth of her emotions. She perceived her world as shattered as if the reality she had believed in had never truly existed. The weight of embarrassment for having been so deceived and betrayed by those around her added to her emotional burden. Despite the heartbreaking situation, Aylin and Tiger Woods attempted to salvage their relationship for months and months. They worked to repair the damage caused by the scandal and infidelity. However, their efforts to reconcile eventually proved unsuccessful, leading them to the painful decision to end their marriage. During this challenging period, Aylin Nordegren found strength and support from her children, as well as her loved ones. Her twin sister, Josephine, played a crucial role in providing both emotional support and practical assistance to Elin following the separation. Elin Nordegren's divorce from Tigger Woods generated significant attention, including initial reports suggesting a $750 million settlement. 
However, the actual settlement was $100 million. Elin's post-divorce life wasn't precisely the outcome she might have envisioned, but she saw the silver lining in the situation. She candidly expressed her perspective in an interview with People, emphasizing that while money itself doesn't guarantee happiness, it did bring certain advantages to her life. The substantial settlement provided her with the freedom to prioritize what truly mattered to her. One of the most significant benefits was the opportunity to spend as much time as she wanted with her children. She also had the means to travel to visit her family and welcome them to her own home as often as she liked. Ellen acknowledged her commitment to having a career with or without Tiger in the picture. The divorce allowed her to reevaluate her goals and plans. With the freedom to no longer travel and follow Tiger around to golf tournaments, she believed she could accelerate her studies and achieve her career aspirations more quickly. Her long-term goal was to find a way to contribute to making a positive difference in people's lives, which reflected her desire to focus on personal growth and meaningful in divorce. With the $100 million settlement she received, she made an intriguing real estate investment in Florida. She purchased a mansion that was originally built in the 1920s for a substantial sum of $12 million. However, Aylin's vision for her new property was grand and ambitious. She decided to embark on a project that involved demolishing the entire existing structure. This decision was influenced by the advice of an architect who recommended that it would be more practical to start anew rather than attempt to bring the older home up to current hurricane safety codes. This bold move showcased her commitment to creating a safe and modern living space. Before the old mansion was taken down in December 2011, Elin Nordegren showed her philanthropic side. She allowed Habitat for Humanity, a nonprofit organization known for building homes for those in need, to have access to the property for four weeks. During this time, they were able to salvage anything of value from the home. This gesture of generosity allowed Habitat for Humanity to repurpose and sell the salvaged items for their charitable work. The contents of the estate including unique items such as a 12-foot fountain with water spouting out of three lion's mouths, multiple refrigerators, temperature-controlled wine coolers, and various items of furniture, were later auctioned at a Habitat for Humanity warehouse. This not only helped Elin with her renovation project, but also contributed to the charitable efforts of the organization. After her divorce from Tiger Woods, Elin Nordegren shifted her focus towards pursuing her psychology degree, and this endeavor played a significant role in helping her cope with the emotional aftermath of the divorce. She dedicated herself to her education, taking one class at a time for an extended period of nine years until she ultimately graduated from Rollins College in Winter Park, Florida in 2014, achieving an impressive 3.96 GPA. Her academic journey was a remarkable and inspiring testament to her determination and resilience. Upon graduation, Ellen had the honor of delivering the commencement address for her graduating class. In her speech, she eloquently conveyed the role education had played in her life during the challenging nine years since her divorcee from Woods. She emphasized that education had been the one constant in her life and a source of comfort during that time, providing her with stability and a sense of achievement. Elin shared her belief that education is a gift that no one can ever take away from an individual. During her address, Ellen Nordegren directly addressed her fellow classmates, acknowledging their diverse backgrounds and the obstacles they had overcome to pursue their education. She drew inspiration from their stories of balancing full-time jobs, caring for their families, and attending classes, which had a profound impact on her. Ellen expressed her admiration for her classmates and how their stories helped her put her own challenges into perspective. Elin humorously recalled that she was unexpectedly thrust into the media limelight shortly after taking a communication and media course, highlighting the irony of her situation. Her journey to obtaining a degree was a testament to her resilience and her ability to overcome adversity. 
Furthermore, Aileen Nordegren shared her goal of using her speech to encourage other mothers to pursue their own education. She aimed to inspire mothers by conveying the message that it's never too late to return to school and pursue their educational dreams. Elin Nordegren's life took a new direction following her divorce from Tiger Woods. Her first post-divorce relationship in 2011 was with American financier Jamie Dingman. However, their relationship was relatively short-lived, lasting less than a year. Reports suggested that Eileen wasn't ready for a serious commitment at that point in her life, likely still adjusting to the aftermath of her high-profile divorce. In 2013, Nordegren embarked on a relationship with West Virginia coal billionaire Chris Klein, who was 20 years her senior. Their connection initially started as a friendship and later evolved into a romantic relationship. At the time, sources mentioned that their relationship was nothing serious, and described it as casual. Eileen and Chris Klein remained together for four years, during which they shared a significant part of their lives. However, their romantic involvement eventually came to an end in 2017. Tragically, in 2019, a devastating helicopter crash off the coast of the Bahamas claimed the lives of Chris Klein and his daughter Cameron. This heartbreaking incident marked the end of Chris Klein's life and had a profound impact on those who knew him and had been a part of his life, including Elin Nordegren. In a 2015 interview with Time, Tiger Woods opened up about his approach to co-parenting with Elin Nordegren, and how he communicated with their children regarding the reasons behind their divorce. He told Time that he had spoken openly to his children, explaining to them why he and Nordegren were no longer living together in the same house. Woods acknowledged his own mistakes and expressed that Daddy made some mistakes, which he conveyed to his children as the underlying reason for their separation. This open and candid approach was intended to provide their children with a clear understanding of the situation. Woods also spoke positively about his relationship with Elin Nordegren, referring to her as one of his best friends. Despite the challenges they faced in their marriage and subsequent divorce, he emphasized their ability to communicate and support one another. Woods revealed that they frequently talked on the phone and maintained a strong connection especially in their roles as co-parents. He underscored the importance of their shared commitment to their children, highlighting that their kids were their top priority. In October 2022, Tiger Woods' ex-girlfriend, Erica Herman, made headlines by filing a lawsuit against the pro golfer, claiming that he owed her $30 million. This legal action brought significant attention to the details of their relationship and financial matters. Subsequently, in March 2023, Herman filed another lawsuit, this time concerning a non-disclosure agreement she had signed in August 2017, further adding to the legal complications involving Woods and Herman. Amidst these legal developments, it was reported that Aileen Nordegren, Woods' ex-wife, maintained a rather detached stance regarding Woods' personal life and the lawsuits. According to an insider source, she expressed no interest in the specifics of Woods' personal matters, such as his relationship with Erica Herman or the legal disputes. Her primary concern, the source explained, revolved around the well-being and happiness of their children in any context involving Woods' personal life. She wanted to ensure that their children were safe and content around anyone Tiger was involved with, particularly if the romantic relationship became more serious. While she had a vested interest in this aspect, she did not appear to be deeply engaged or involved in other aspects of Woods's life or legal affairs. After a long period of divorce, she eventually found love again with NFL player James Cameron, who had played for the Cleveland Browns and Miami Dolphins. Elin and James Cameron's romance began when they met at Art Basel in Miami and started dating. Their relationship quickly blossomed, and they decided to take the next step by moving in together in the Sunshine State, Florida. While the couple generally kept their romance private, they couldn't keep their exciting news under wraps when Elin Nordegren announced that they were expecting a child in 2019. 
It was later confirmed that Aileen was indeed pregnant, marking her third child and her first with James Cameron. The couple shared their joy with candid photos of them looking loved up on the golf course. It was heartwarming to see Aileen continuing to enjoy golf despite the previous drama with her ex-husband. Aileen Nordegren gave birth to a son named Arthur in October of that year. Since then, Aileen and James Cameron have maintained a low profile and deliberately stayed out of the public eye. A source revealed that Ellen prefers a quiet life in Florida, where she can enjoy a sense of normalcy and privacy. What do you think about Elin Nordegren's new life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.